Good afternoon, everyone. Marjorie Deschner, OT from Kaufman Children's Center here for our third in the Yoga Storytime series. Check out the previous two Yoga Storytimes here on KCC Small Talks, where we used yoga to help manage our emotions and to regulate our breathing, giving our bodies a sense of calming and organization for improved attention and focus. Today we are going to utilize the benefits of yoga to help balance our visual and vestibular systems. An influx of screen time can potentially cause overload to a child's visual system, while at the same time depriving the vestibular system of the necessary movement it needs in order to maintain coordination of movement, balance, and orienting the body in space. Yoga can be a good solution for optimal transitioning between screen to non-screen activity because it can help to reset the vestibular system, calming the body, and using movement and frequent changes in head position. The yoga story we are going to read today is called Zu Zen, a yoga story for kids by Kristen Fisher, illustrated by Susie Schaefer. So get barefoot, pull up a mat or a towel in a place you can move in and join me for a trip to the zoo as we move our bodies around like animals. Zoo Zen. Lila is ready to try something new. Can she learn yoga from her friends at the zoo? She rolls out her mat, puts on her yoga pants to pose like the creatures and mimic each stance. One balancing bear grabs onto his feet. Lila grabs also and lifts from her seat. Don't forget to hang on your, to your toes, says the bear. Let's do bear pose. So you're going to sit. Grab onto your toes with your fingers, bring your legs up off the ground, and open your legs out, trying to keep your back straight. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, just like a bear. Great job. In the cobra pit, two snakes glide around. She slithers and wiggles all over the ground. Keep your hands under your shoulders. We're going to do cobra pose. All right, lay on your mats, flat on your bellies. Put your arms to your sides, push down through your hands and push up and look up to the sky and breathe in and out for cobra pose. What's next? Three eagles gaze on. Lila glances up high, twisted yet steady. She's ready to fly. Hook one foot behind your calf if you can. We're going to do eagle pose. See her doing eagle pose? Okay, so stand on your mat. Bend your knees like you're gonna sit into a chair. Bring one foot or one leg over the other leg, crossing your legs. If you can, you can hook your toe. If you can't, that's fine. You can just hold it there. Right leg is over your left leg. Your right arm is coming underneath your left arm and touch your palms if you can and breathe. And it's okay if you fall, just try to get back out into the position again and breathe. And this is eagle pose. And to come out of it, we fly out like an eagle. Lions stalk and they prowl in this pride, there are four. Hands pressed to her knees, Lila bellows a roar. 
Stick out your tongue. Let's do this. So she's sitting in hero's pose, her knees together, hands on her knees and breathe in and stick out your tongue and like a lion. Five camels with humps want to bend back. She grips onto her heels and now she's got the knack. Relax your neck. We're going to do camel pose. That. So back on our mat. You're going to get on your knees, kneeling. Reach back for your heels. Look up to the sky and stretch your neck and breathe in. That's camel pose. Like six crocodiles perched up on their claws, she's on her tummy and makes time to pause. Don't forget to turn your heels out, said the crocodiles. So let's do crocodile pose. That. So you're gonna lay on your tummy, on your mat, with your heels out, and your arms are stacked one on top of another. You can rest your head down on your hands or your arms, and that's crocodile pose. Seven dolphins arrive and swim close to her mat, raising her bottom, her forearms stay flat. Press your palms into the ground. All right, this is dolphin pose. Can you see that? All right, let's do dolphin pose. So stand on your mat and feet apart. You're going to reach your palms to the floor Take a step back, lower your elbows, and then your head. And breathe in and out. Make sure you get your head down in between your arms there for dolphin pose. Eight gorillas screech. Lila folds in half, clasps hands under feet, and lets out a laugh. It's okay to bend your knees for a gorilla pose. Let's do that. So you're gonna stand with your feet apart and you're gonna try to put your hands underneath your feet if you can. If you can't, just try to touch your toes or your ankles. And you can bend your knees and head is down in between your arms looking through your legs like a gorilla. And don't forget to breathe. Nine scaly lizards climbed onto a stone. Her leg is a tail, she's only just grown. Step one foot to the outside of your hand. Ooh, this is lizard pose. So you're going to step one foot forward, the other back, lower that knee, and lean into your front leg with bent knee, and hands are down. You can stay here. You can lower to your forearms and put your head down between your hands and breathe for lizard pose. Ten frogs by a pond, some hip and some hop, some stretches out wide. She stretches out wide, her hands are the prop. Remember to flex your feet. Ooh, frog pose. You see that? So with frog pose, stretch your feet out to the sides. Don't forget to flex those feet. So bringing them towards your knee. And then just try to sit back into the pose. 
You can rest on your forearms, your elbows. You can go down your belly to the ground if you can and breathe and look down. Great frog poses. Use yoga when you want to calm down and feel strong. Remember to breathe, use only your nose. Inhale and exhale, stay calm in each pose. Ooh, let's do flamingo pose. There's flamingo pose. We're gonna stand on our mat and standing on one leg, you can touch your toes and the inside of your foot, you can bring it up to your ankle. You can bring it up above your knee, but not at your knee. And your hands together were like flamingos. And if you fall out, just get back into the pose again. It's okay. Do both legs and try to look up. Tilt your head back looking up, keeping your balance for flamingo pose. Always be present right here and right now. Show that you're thankful. Conclude with a bow. And we always conclude our yoga practice with our hands together at our heart center. We look down to our, to our hands and we say namaste. Namaste means the light in me honors the light in you. And that's the end of our zoo zen i hope you had fun exploring animal movements at the zoo and have a great day see you next time bye